In this session, you will learn about developing and deploying bundles for AEM. Bundles help to modularize Java development using the Open Source Gateway Initiative or Schaefer framework. A bundle is essentially a jar file that you deploy in the Apache Felix console. Felix console is a OSGA container. To make it simpler, to accomplish a complex task, you can deploy a bundle in the Felix console that runs with AEM and then avail the services offered by the bundle. We are not going to explore a lot about OSGA bundles. We will see how a bundle can be developed, deployed and used. You need to have installed Maven in your system. I am not going to talk about how it can be done. There are plenty of information available in the internet. Please install Maven. I am on a Windows machine. After installing Maven, if I run MVN in the command prompt, this is the result that I get. You should see something similar if you had a successful installation and you added the location to your class path. I have created a directory AEM company. This is the company name we used for our sample project. Let me move to that directory. We are going to develop our project inside this directory. <coughs> I will run this command to create an AEM project. The command is too long. It is available in my git hub repository. Using this command, we will create an AEM project using a Maven archetype. Archetype, archetype is a project templating toolkit. Basically, it creates a sample project from which you can start your work. Note that Adobe provides archetype URL for all developers. I don't want to explain the rest of the parameters. It would be too complex for this session. We'll do that later. After running the command, a project structure is created. So let me copy the command and run it. It will take some time. Let us see what happens next. It has created a directory structure. Let us explore it further. There are two folders, bundle and content. <clears throat> we'll see the bundle folder first. It primarily created a Java project. By default, it added first Java class that you, that you can use as a start. You can use this project structure to add more classes. It created an interface, hello service. This interface implements a method get repository name. This method should return the underlying repository name. In this case, Apache Jackrabbit org is a repository we use. Let us go to the implementation folder. You can see hello service implementation Java. Let us open it. At service and at component are JCR annotations. We will see later. The implementation class has a get repository name which implements the way the repository name should get a return now let us deploy this project to felix console let us move to the project that got created just now now let us run the command maven auto install package install it will take some time to complete let us wait for it to complete okay. 
the command has executed successfully you could see the result here now let us log into uh, system console and locate the bundle I'll search for AEM company and here it is this is the bundle that we deployed just now you could see the hello service which primarily returns the name of the uh, repository here I have developed a component that uses the service obtain it from my github I this is the component that I developed it is called bundle service I used a bundle service JSP as a default script of the component and uh, this is the way I used the sling.git service method and uh, to get uh, the service so basically with to this repository service using the repository service object I am calling the get repository name which we uh, defined in the implementation class now let us see what happens when uh, this component which uses the service <coughs> is added to page so here is the com component use bundle services I will drag and drop it here see it is uh, written hello uh, which is basically a string that I added in the GSP page and it uh, written the uh, underlying repository name that is Apache Jackrabbit Oak so primarily you have seen how to create an AEM project structure which will give you uh, a very basic <coughs> structure which you can deploy as a bundle to your Felix console from there you can access certain services how exactly you can access certain services to your web page we will uh, build on top of it this is uh, a very basic step that I, uh, I showed you but uh, we'll keep uh, building uh, complex components using this technology thank you so much See you guys soon.